guys, it's Nurse Jack, Nurse of the Truth. I hope everyone's having a great day. So you need to go check out my two earlier videos about the UFO sightings in ancient Egypt, the Turley Papyrus, and also who are we praying to? We are praying to Ptah in ancient Egypt in the Lord's Prayer. And I'll show you how I found that information out as well. So what am I going to bring up today? Again, third video, the Trinity series. Um, really, did Moses write the five books of the Pentateuch or the Torah? You know, even that name sounds suspicious in itself. Torah, Torah, the books of Ra. So, told you this was an Egyptian book, people. And they twisted it for their liking. So, Everyone believes, even the Jews of today, that really took up the religion of Judaism that are over there now. They're Europeans. So the Jews and Christians widely believe that Moses wrote the five books of Moses. However, Beginning with some medieval rabbis, doubts have been raised among the details that challenge the notion that Moses was the Arthur R. as follows. Because we know that there was no man named Moses. Moses was an Egyptian name. And... Akhenaten is going to be your biblical Moses. So, moving on. The Edomite kings listed in Genesis 36 did not live until after Moses was dead. So, Moses could not have written about them in great detail because he was dead. Moses is referred to in the third person in several passages. But see, some of the Jews say that, oh, well, Joshua wrote the end of Deuteronomy. There are places named that Moses could not have known because he never entered the promised land. You know, I guess now that I'm thinking about it as well, you're in great detail. All the names and all these battles and fighting. But you're dead. The Hebrew of the text includes terms that were developed long after Moses' death. And Moses' death is included in Deuteronomy in several passages. There are places named, like I said, that he could have known about. And Moses Excuse me. Camels. Oh, this is another one. Camels are listed in Abraham's part of the Bible. But camels, dear people, were domesticated around 900 to 1,000. Long after Abraham and even Moses. So they, quote, put Abraham as... 1550 BCE and Moses 1250 BCE. So how in the hell can you have a camel in that area at the time of Moses and Abraham when the camels didn't come around until practically hundreds and hundreds of years later? Isn't that some funny business? And you can even do your research 
my dear truth seekers, because I have, and I saw it, where they said the camels were not domesticated in that area. So, and in Deuteronomy 34, the writer states, There never arose another prophet in Israel like Moses. It didn't seem to make sense that Moses, or even God, in Moses' time, would write such words. So, truth seekers, go do your little truth-seeking search like Nurse J has, and it doesn't make sense. There are historical players in the charade game of names that these people wanted to write behind. And dear truth seekers, all Egyptian. So until next time, we'll see you later. God thought says, when you search for the truth and you find the truth, let the truth set you free. Hotep and Ashe.